Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to go over setting up the Odroid VU7 using the Odroid C2, and all you're going to need is a screwdriver. So the Odroid VU7 is a 7-inch touchscreen display for the Odroid C2. It is compatible with other single board computers, but it is designed for the C2. The C2 actually bolts to the back of it. It makes a nice little manly tablet. Let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we get in here. First up, we have our accessory bag with our standoffs, our bolts, our HDMI adapter, and our micro USB adapter. It also comes with a flat HDMI cord, just in case you want to use it unattached to the screen itself. Micro USB to USB 2.0. And we also have micro USB to micro USB. And finally, we have the screen itself. Comes nicely wrapped in a static bag. And it's also covered with a piece of cardboard and two pieces of foam to keep it protected during transit. So this is the back of the 7-inch LCD. We'll pull it off of here. So the screen resolution is 800 by 480, five-finger capacitive touch input. We have the mounting bracket built into the screen itself for the Odroid C2. On the side here, we have our inputs. We have micro USB, HDMI, and our power switch. This is the back of the board here. We're going to go over setting up the Odroid C2 on the screen itself. I'm actually using an eMMC module with Android installed. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I laid all of my components. I've taken them out of their bags. And first up, we have the HDMI adapter. Now, this is a dual HDMI adapter, full size. This will connect the Odroid C2's HDMI to the screen. We also have the micro USB, which will transfer touch and power to the LCD screen from the Odroid C2. In the pink bag here, I have my screws and standoffs, and all you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver. So here's my Odroid C2. I have Android pre-installed on a 16 gigabyte eMMC module. You can get them from the storefront if you'd like. If you're using an SD card, that will also work. But I definitely recommend eMMC as it's much faster than an SD card. So we're just gonna take the LCD screen, flip it over, and as you can see, we have three mounting points near the HDMI and micro USB. The Odroid C2, it's going to sit right here with the standoffs provided in the package. We're going to screw it to the LCD board itself, and then we'll plug in our HDMI adapter and our micro USB. It's very simple to do. So I'll just take a screw and a standoff. We're going to place the standoffs and screws onto the LCD before we mount the Odroid C2. I found this much easier, and another recommendation is to put the screw through first, and then screw your standoff onto that. We're only gonna need three screws and three standoffs for this project here. And you can give it a little torque if you'd like. You don't need to go crazy on it. Finger tight should be plenty for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow up with the other two standoffs and screws here. So now that I have my three standoffs in place, we're just going to grab the Odroid C2, place it right on top. As you can see, everything's going to line up perfectly. You'll need three more screws to secure the Odroid C2 to the LCD. And again, do not over torque these, do not over tighten. Get them snug, they're going to stay. Now that you have mounted the C2 to the LCD screen, it's time to connect our HDMI adapter and our micro USB adapter. As you can see, they're lined up perfectly. We'll just grab our HDMI dual adapter here and make sure you're going in the right way. Plug it in. Now you don't need to use too much force, but you might need to apply some just to get it in there. 
Once it clicks, you're good to go. Now, we're going to use our dual USB adapter. This is going to allow the Odroid C2 to transfer the power and touch to the LCD screen. This one is a little bit trickier. Just be careful with it. Make sure it's going in the right way. And it should fit snug in there also. So there you have it. It is mounted up, ready to go, and it looks beautiful. So it's time to boot this puppy up. Now I have Android installed. This will also work with an Ubuntu build. And here it is in action. Everything fits so well, and it feels really nice. So if you wanted to go portable with this, you could definitely mount a battery over here. You just need to be careful about all of the exposed electronics. I have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and I also have my power adapter plugged in. I've connected to my Wi-Fi network here, and we're just going to go online. Touch is very responsive. As you can see, typing did not miss a beat, and it just works very well. Now the color on the screen looks so much better than it does in this video. It's hard to capture a tiny screen like this and make it look good on camera. So that's it for now, guys. We really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll try our hardest to get back to you as soon as possible. If you're interested in picking one of these kits up, go ahead and visit Ameridroid.com. I will also leave links in the description for you guys. And like always, thanks for watching.